Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kick off. I just hit record. I do record all of these just FYI in case anyone wants a, a copy of the recording afterwards. Um, quick introduction, this is a webinar. So you go, it's all confidential. You guys can't see each other. You also can't talk, so you won't be able to say anything or interact. Um, it's it's typically I'm meeting with people one-on-one. -on -one, so we have a very different conversation because it's about you and kind of your world and what you're dealing with. Um, so what's nice about the webinar is it lets me go into extreme detail on um, the systems, the model, the history, the financials, and, and in a very in-depth breakdown that I'm not able to do when I meet with people one-on-one -on -one, because it's, it's just a lot of information. Um, and so I'd love the opportunity to meet with you individually. Um, but for this webinar, just hold your questions till the end. Um, and I will open up for some um, question and answers when we're wrapping up. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and dive in. Quick introduction for anyone that doesn't know myself, uh, Michelle Wilson. I've been in the industry, I don't even know how long now, probably about 17 years. Uh, and so my, my background, you know, has led me to, uh, my background has led me to, you know, a long, uh, and road, many years of leadership. I have one of the largest you know, independents in the state, um, over here in the Northwest, uh, built it into one of the largest franchises in the country. And all that means when I talk with agents is I have a really big passion for working and building with agents. I coach and train and, and build with real estate agents, with teams and with companies all across the country. Uh, that's kind of been my knack. I'm a huge support role. I'm a big like operations nerd. I love systems. I love marketing. I love helping people find ways to scale and support them in the ways of their business. Um, long story short, rewind, you know, maybe about three years ago uh, when I found this platform, this business model, which I'm going to articulate for you guys, I'm um, a little detailed. So I actually spent a year researching this model before coming over here just a little over two years ago and launching my same kind of type of business I ran, but under this platform because of a certain reason, right? And that's what I'm going to showcase to you guys today. So um, use me as a resource. I've got a lot of information up here. I've also experienced quite incredible and tremendous growth and results in being here, which I'll show with you guys as well. And we'll go ahead and jump in. So I am going to be sharing screens. I will be running through a slide deck so you guys don't have to just look at me this whole time. Um, I have a lot of visuals here. So give me a second. All right. So let's kick off. Can you guys give me a quick... Let me do the actual presentation mode. Uh, can you guys give me a quick example here of what you are seeing? Are you seeing just the full screen? It should say one big fire. Those of you that I have on, if you can just give me a quick thumbs up or shout out or in the chat, say, yes, I can see your screen. I've done a couple of these and I'll be like 20 minutes in or five minutes in and someone will be like, we're not seeing what you're seeing. Do you guys see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and start off. So I'm going to cover some kind of, I'm going to do this in a few different layers for you guys. I'm going to give you kind of the backstory and, and play of, of the business model. Then we're going to shift gears. I'm going to talk about how we work with agents outside of that. I call it boots on the grounds in the trenches with working with agents on their production and building out their businesses. And then I'm going to go into the entire financial play and financial breakdown of how all of this really works. Okay. So I'm going to hit on all of those. When you're looking at my uh, uh, beginning of my presentation here, right, you're seeing this concept of, you know, what's one big fire mean, right? And what is this down here on the bottom, right? And it's this concept of really what EXP is and has become of what could we do, right? If we took all of our little fires, all of our strengths um, as, as agents and top producers and coaches and leaders and owners, what if we pulled all of those flames together and created one big fire, hence one agent owned brokerage across the globe, what could we do, right? And that's really led us to being the fastest growing real estate company in the history of real estate. The past five years, they've had that award now being the fastest growing real estate brokerage on the planet. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys some stats here in a second, but this is the objective, right? We're probably almost a couple of years into this goal right now of building two a hundred countries and a hundred million agents in a 10 year plan. And we are pacing for that. Um, I'll give you guys some numbers. Some people can't comprehend. Well, what does that mean? Is that good? Is that bad? I'll tell you what that means. So 
jumping here to my slide deck just gives you a little bit of the timeline of what's gone on in the history of the company. The super details you can read on your own, but really what's important, you know, the company was founded about 12 years ago um, out of the Northwest. And, you know, you fast forward even eight years ago, EXP had 650 agents nationally. Okay. That's how many agents they had. That's how small they were at eight years. Fast forward today, they're the third largest brokerage in the world at just under 89,000 agents, okay? And 24 or 25 countries to date. Um, they're number one in the US in transaction count. They're probably about a year away from swallowing the largest brokerage currently um, in, in the history of real estate um, and in the current marketplace uh, to be number one. They've swallowed our industry overnight, right? And you don't grow this fast unless you change something dramatically, right? They have shook up the entire industry and changed how things are done, but on a certain level, okay? So this visual just kind of gives you some perspective of this insane growth over just the last several years where they've heavily disrupted our industry, okay? I'm going to lay all this out for you guys so you have all the backstory and um, and everything on it. Um Quick background here on Glenn Sanford, who is the CEO, who is the founder. He actually happens to be uh, based out of Bellingham, Washington. Uh, I had the opportunity while I was researching EXP to be able to meet with Glenn, you know, in person and kind of sit down and, and understand the backstory, right? And that's one of the first things I asked him. I said, you know, I was, my mind was kind of blown when I started to look at this model and I was like, why? What was the reasoning behind it, right? And he knew just like the rest of us that, you know, one of the biggest challenges of our industry is it's an ever evolving wheel, right? I mean, as an agent, we can literally just decide to move and hang our license somewhere else and close our next deal, right? There's no teeth in it. There's no glue for the agents. And that's one of the biggest challenges for team leaders and for owners as well. It's an ever evolving wheel. There isn't, we don't have the benefits, right? There isn't glue in the game for the real estate agents who ultimately are doing all of the work, right? And so, you know, when Glenn shared this with me, what kind of his vision was and what the, the foundation of how this was created um, it, it really hit home with me because I wanted to know what was the reason behind this and where are we going, right? What is the mission behind the company? Um, and we're going to share all that out in these first probably like five minutes. Um, EXP, if you haven't heard this, right, they're referenced as the Amazon of real estate, okay? Love them or hate them. They have disrupted the entire industry, okay? And you have to understand um, kind of wherever your standpoint is of what your knowledge is of what's gone on in our in our business and in our industry these last five years um, or, you know, whatever other company you're at now, take your pick. There's so many great companies out there, right? Um, when someone comes in and grows this fast and disrupts an industry like this, Mm, they're probably not going to like them very much, right? But think about think about the new models that have changed industry so dramatically, okay? And this gives you a great example of this right here. It doesn't mean that the other one is bad. There is a new way of doing business today for real estate agents and a completely new model and how they are compensated. This has changed the, uh, the game of our industry forever, okay? And this is the reason this has done this, okay, is because... They created a new model. So if we look at how the old and existing model of real estate works, it looks something like this. Okay, and it doesn't matter if you're a franchise. It doesn't matter if you're um, an independent. It's all pretty much the same. This model has existed since 1906. Okay, it's here's real estate. Here's a real estate company. It starts up here as an international or national company, right? It's broken down into regions. It's broken into your local franchise owners, hence someone like myself, right? We then have our team leaders, our managers, our recruiters, all of our staff on payroll to build our companies and run our companies. We then have our office spaces, our utilities, all that fun stuff, okay? All running down to who makes the commissions, right? It's to create a platform and provide a vehicle for real estate agents to hang their licenses, make the income they're going to make. They make 100% of the money and then that flows up, right? That franchise fee, it's going up there at the top, right? That split you're paying there, it's going there to your local franchise owner, right? And it's to fuel this whole model and it's simply a business model. It is the old model that's existed in the history of real estate. So what changed now, right? There simply is a new model. So those of you that don't know, EXP is not a franchise. They are a sole independent 
across the entire uh, country, really across the entire globe, right? They're not a franchise. And it's an agent driven model, right? It's an, a single brokerage owned by the people. Okay. And some people, when I talk with them, they're like, I don't care. They don't like look at this side of things, right? They're like, ah, the stock shares, that doesn't mean a lot to me, right? Um, the agents receive 50% of the revenues, the revenue share. What does that mean to me? I don't understand. I just want to hand my license and do my deals. And they brush this off, right? The reason I do this webinar is to make sure I can emphasize and cover in detail the gravity of what this financial play does for you as the agent, okay? As well as if you're a team leader, as well as if you're an owner, right? But all EXP did is they took the real estate brokerage model, okay? And they created a new model. They cut out all of the middlemen. I get these questions all the time with all these financials I'm going to show you throughout this presentation, okay? So the biggest questions I get, well, how can they do that? How is that possible? Because they eliminated over all of the overhead, okay? Take it from someone that had a very large company with over $200,000 a month in overhead, okay? Really fun to have. They changed the game, right? They can give away 50% of their gross revenue off the top back into their agent's pockets, right? Because they found a way to eliminate all of the overhead, right? Of what bogs down us as independent broker owners and local franchise owners, okay? And they found the glue for the agents by saying, what if we made all of them partners in the company so that they were building something for them and we appreciated them for hitting the production goals and gave them more and more ownership shares in the company. It's an agent driven model. It's a new model. Okay. Again, it's a single brokerage. It's not a franchise. They are an international company. I'll be touching on some different things with you guys with where you take all your services and support now and put it into one hub virtually. What does that do, right? It gives you more resources. It gives you instant access and time savings back into your day to be more productive because anything you need is accessible by 2,000 people on staff in your office that you just log into and go wherever department you're going to want to go to, okay? And we'll talk about that. Um, there's 50 to 60 hours of live training in this cloud office live by some of the biggest producers and leaders across the entire industry nationwide and globally, okay? And this is from marketing, branding, lead generation, commercial certifications. I want to learn more about Airbnbs, investments. Doesn't matter what it is. The amount of training that's available here is pretty out of this world, right? And I'll talk about different stuff about the collaboration that plays into when you have a vehicle and a business model like this. And of course, the equity opportunities. Um, one thing I want to touch on when I talk about the international uh, ex expansion of the company, what this is really cool, right? So it took, take someone like me, um, that's been a big broker owner for many, many years, um, take someone that's running teams, take an individual producer, right? I, I'm local from Washington state, right? There's a lot of agents that are from Washington state that are also licensed in Oregon, right? There's a lot of agents in Washington state that have either relocated and or also got their license in Oregon, Arizona, Texas, uh, Florida, take your pick, okay? Very, very, very common practices for myself and the agents I've been around for years. One of the really cool things with having a single brokerage across the whole country, okay, is it's one brokerage, one platform, one system, one closing process, and one cap. I have agents that are licensed in five different states, multiple that do deals in all of those states. It's one cap, right? Same process, same closing process, one fee, one cap. That alone has changed the game dramatically for our real estate agents. Um, typically, you're with different companies. Even if you're with the same franchise, they're all independently operated and owned. You have a separate cap. You have a separate, completely different financial model with that owner. Thus is how the industry works. Um, and it also changed the concept for, so take someone like myself looking to expand into these surrounding markets and states, the amount of work licensing, legalities, all of the above that have to be put together to expand your expansion teams to set up the franchises in those areas. You guys get where I'm going with it. This is a borderless operation that's live from day one. This is the stuff that gets your wheel spinning. Just gives you a quick glance of what the international footstep is currently. Um, the majority of these guys all open just in these last couple of years during the pandemic. EXP has barely scratched the surface of where they will go in their international expansion. They're, of course, in all 50 states. 
they were in all of Canada, and I believe it's 24, 25 countries to date, with Dubai being the last one that was just announced, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, barely scratched the surface on where they're going. You look at all of your other ma major franchise players, they're in 80, 90, 110 countries for the past 20, 50, 100 years. Just to paint that picture for you, what's happened with EXP just in these last two to five years and where it's going globally, okay? So these are the disruptions that I'm going to be walking you guys through and kind of painting this picture, okay? Number one, we're going to talk about how do we help agents sell a lot of homes, okay? The fundamental challenge, how do we increase our production, right? How do we create leads? How do we put systems in place? How do I increase my number of sales and grow my income? Okay, I'm going to show you guys that. I'm going to talk about uh, technology and lead generation. I'm going to talk about how now real estate agents and their families have affordable health care built in with the company that you work for. Um, we're going to talk more about how exactly the ownership shares work and being a partner in this company. Um, we're going to talk about how revenue share has changed the game financially for all of us as real estate agents and what that really looks like and how it builds an exit strategy for us as individual agents in the real estate market. Um, so we're going to cover all of these. I'm going to shift gears first, and I'm going to kind of do it in this order, okay? So we've all heard this quote before. We've all heard this, you know, phrase, you'll get what all you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want, okay? It's a philosophy that I've lived by by a long time. It changes the dynamic, though, when all of a sudden you're in a platform where there's alignment from industry leaders, top producers, the new licensee, right? If I'm as a broker owner uh, background or a team leader, or you know, my passion is bringing people in and helping them build what they're building and scaling what they're scaling, this alignment financially, where we're all partners and owners and what we're creating on a bigger scale, changes this concept pretty dramatically. And you guys are going to see what I mean by it. Um, I have this slide in here just to add a little bit of fun. Um, some of you guys are in our local markets. I'm traveling constantly. Uh, it's just to showcase. People will go, oh my gosh, this is so different, right? We're in a cloud office. Yes, it is. And it's the reason we're able to do what we do. But guess what we're doing? We're selling homes. We're building a business. We're building community. We're building relationships. We're doing events. Um, I'm flying out uh, next, not next week, the following Wednesday for a live event, a sales training production event that we're doing. Uh, just three weeks ago, as I was in Washington State doing two different events back to back, um, you know, we're out at happy hour. We'll be in Mexico at a mastermind uh, next month. Uh, we will be in Florida at the shareholders event in about four months from now. Um, happy hours, fun events, um, uh, appreciation parties, doing deals together. This is the business that we are in. This does not change, right? These environments of what we're doing locally, boots on the grounds, and then the leverage of what we're able to do because of having a cloud office. And this is the emphasis I already make to people. It's not, okay, EXP, here's how cool it is, and here's what we're able to do. And it's not just you. It's EXP and what this business model and vehicle allows you to do and you and your business partners. This is what makes this business model so powerful. This is what creates so much leverage because now you can take what, again, your knowledge is, your background is, again, you can take that one little fire and you're now aligning it with multiple producers, co-agents, leaders, coaches, mega influencers across the industry. And we're partnering together to create what we can to fuel agents, business, and to create a much bigger business for themselves, which I'll touch on both of those. So hopefully if that makes, every, makes sense for everyone, now you're creating growth in your business, in your financials, and what resources you have through leverage, right? And what's it crazy about all of this, it's without ever paying a piece of your commission, paying a fee, Okay, paying for the systems and the staff that are already built in from us as other top producers and leaders, right? This is how you grow through leverage, whether it's onboarding systems and concierge support, whether it's through our graphics designers, um, whether it's through our marketing people, yes, our CRM experts, our funnel builders. You don't have to figure out how to do all this on your own anymore because there's people that already know how to do it that will do it for you. You have a team or an organization you don't have to go hire that person and put it in your business. The people already exist that will bolt on and do it for you and for your people, okay? This is all multidimensional. And how do I actually create more growth? How can I create the economies of scale in my business 
just trying to stay profitable and trying to give to our agents and give them more resources to build for. Um, we provide a lot of different things, whether it comes to the data, the leads, where do I get my business from? Um, we provide an entire learning hub. Everything we do is live and interactive. And that's what's really cool. I think people don't understand. Uh, I'm going for this virtual office. Do I lose any of that? Here's the reality. It does depend on who you're partnered with, right? But I, as I walk you through the live trainings that are run through EXP, and then you take your local partners and leaders boots on the grounds, uh, whether they're in a local office space to you or, again, uh, running things like this, we are all live. We are all interactive. We provide 24 hours of live interactive training on all different aspects of the business to help agents move their business forward that you can plug and play into your business, as well as a live learning hub that has all the content from, again, who's already done it at the highest level, right? Whether it's how-to videos, whether it's scripts, processes, checklists, training series, it's all available at your fingertips to work with, right? We align with agents to build out a plan that works for them. And then we show them what they can plug into to help them get where they're trying to go. This is how we help agents reach their production goals and create the environments that they're looking for, right? To grow their business, no matter what company they're with. This, what I'm showing you guys now is the foundation to any agent's business, right? We need systems. We need community. We need sales skills. We need systems and processes. We need resources to work with. And these are all the things that we bolt on and plug in with you because it is already there, right? We bring these resources to the table, whether it's building out the financial plays of some of the stuff we talk about um, and all sorts of different things. A couple of things I want to highlight for you guys is one of the sales trainings that we run, and I'll use this as an open invite. Like I'm looking at the group that I have on here. Um, some of you guys have checked this out with us. Some of you guys, I don't recognize your names, your, your guests. Um, a lot of agents might be coming to this for the first time, or this is a deeper dive after you've had a conversation with myself or someone else, right? And you're getting a much deeper dive on a lot of the details. We run a sales training. It's Monday through Friday, every single day of the week, where we work with agents on the foundational skill of how to generate and how to convert doesn't matter if this business is coming from our sphere, from farming, from mailers, from internet lead generation. If we don't master this skill set, this is what changes the game. This is one of the biggest voids in our industry, right? This training alone that I invite any of you guys as guests to come check out with us just to see what it's like in real life. This is how we're taking agents that have been in the business for years, right? five years, 10 years, just kind of selling the number of homes they sell. They don't know how to grow to doubling, tripling, quadrupling the number of sales 12 months later, just from working with them here in this one session that we do on a daily basis. Okay. This is how we're able to take new licensees who are selling three, four homes a month, 30 days into the business, right? Because we're actually teaching them the skill to generate and convert from all the different ways that we can do business. Um, so I extend that invite out now. You can ask questions at the end. We'll make sure we get you the resources you need to come see what that looks like for yourself. This is how you create a controllable business, no matter what systems and marketing and lead generation we set up for you. Okay, just a glimpse on the digital side, right? Um, I'm a big systems nerd, so I have a big background in working with agents forever on building their databases, their CRMs, their lead generation funnels, plugging in the different lead generation companies, on and on and on and on, right? All your social media stuff, fun, 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 okay? What I do know is this is very challenging for agents. It's also a necessity, okay? It's a necessity in the world that we're in today that if you aren't plugging the side of your business in, you're kind of just leaving all of this on the table that someone else is capitalizing on. And so the foundations of how we work with agents is there's all the training in the world up here. All of the technology platforms are all provided through EXP as the brokerage, okay? But here's the reality. Now you're going to go to trainings, okay? All the trainings there to show you exactly what to do. Here's the rub, because I already know this. I've been doing it for 17 years, okay? And I'm very patient. I know the challenge and disconnect of technology and marketing and social media to the typical agent, which is about 95% of you, okay? And what happens is there's a breakdown from, I went to this great seminar and I went to all these trainings that exist on what I get to do with KV Core and whatever else. But now you come home to your computer and you got to figure out how to apply what you were just shown or what you just paid for, right? The cool thing here is these hubs are all available. They're all part of the package at eXp. So it's all available at no cost. KV Core, as an example, is the smart CRM and technology platform that eXp provides to all agents. It's a third-party company. Look it up. This is a very expensive platform for real estate agents on their own outside of this. 
all provided. What we do is we provide the marketing specialists that are the technology solutions. So whether it's how to put VAs in place, whether it's target marketing, whether it's building our own custom lead generation funnels, whether it's creating our own organic marketing through our Google pages, our social media, um, what are lead generation companies I can bolt on tomorrow to fuel me with different marketing and lead generation the day I start, we've created that solution by having the marketing specialist in place that then sit down with you the day you get started, okay? It, I, I always use people's names. I keep resisting saying someone's name that I see here. But so when you come on board, day one, someone's sitting down with you saying, what's the niche of your business? What do you focus on? What are you trying to do? It's different for everyone, Right. From there, they now can go customize and link your websites, right? Build out and customize your social media, import in your existing database, your 2000 Zillow leads, whatever, everyone runs their business different, okay? Hooks it all up, teaches you now how to manage it and use it to continue building your database. And then if you're someone that wants lead generation can now then create your funnels right there on the spot that are specific and custom to you put together all the algorithms. The point is, is now from a week after joining, your systems are in place. The foundation to your business is in place. You might have live lead generation now coming to you every day from that point forward. And now you're just being shown how to manage it and use it. Okay. And it's all set up for you. Otherwise, guess what happens? You go to all this training and you come and you're excited. And six months later, I'm like, how's it going? And you're going, well, I've been really busy as you are. And I put six people in and I've done nothing with it says every single agent ever, right? So these are solutions that I'm sharing with you guys that we have in place to help you overcome these challenges that honestly everyone has in the business. I call it a do it for you setup, right? We're gonna teach you how to build out your systems. We're gonna do it for you, custom to you. And then we're gonna give you the resources, the support and the skills to be able to have the highest return. Again, whether this is a sphere-based database business, whether this is going after out there and building a heavy listing-based business, whether this is going out there and capitalizing on the marketing digital world that we're in, take your pick, right? And really we should be leveraging all three of those, okay? All right. Hopefully, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask me at the end. I'll, I'll cover a bunch of stuff that you guys want to ask. All right, back to this slide. So I just like to do a highlight there first. Like these are the things, right, that we're doing. Us as leaders, as producers, myself, this is all I do full time, right, is we are helping the agents implement these things into their businesses to drive sales, to double their sales, to triple their sales, to help support their sales teams. We're helping agents sell a lot of houses, right? That's why we're number one in transaction count in the U.S., okay? why some of the biggest producers and leaders are here because we're helping our agents sell, okay? Talked a little bit about the technology. So let's talk about what are some of the big challenges in our industry, okay? And this is for me, um, one of the things where I was like, thank you, Glenn Sanford, right? He solved some of the biggest challenges that we have as real estate agents. We're all 1099 contractors. We have no exit strategy built in as real estate agents. We don't have benefits. We don't have a retirement plan. One of the hardest things is being a coach um, and a long time, you know, coach and builder in this industry is I get to work with so many great agents. And I work with a lot of agents that are in their 60s, that are in their 70s, that are very good real estate and been selling for many years, right? They own their home. They might have one other property at that point. This is what's typical, right? And they're selling, they're making a good living. They're selling 20, 30 homes a year they are in a position where they are only still as good as their next sale. And this unfortunately is the reality, the reality of the majority of our industry, okay? Until now, we have different options and far more resources to help our agents create something now and not be in that same boat, which has been one of the hardest parts of our industry forever. Um, real quick here, touch on the healthcare. Yes, this is a big thing I have with agents, why their spouses have to stay at their corporate jobs, all sorts of stuff, because we don't have any benefits built in. So EXP has a huge, massive partnership. Um, if this is something that's important to you, go here to this link that's on the bottom here, expagenthealthcare.com. It gives you everything you want to know, plans for your families. You can talk to somebody live and set up a consultation. The, the stories and the testimonials I have for agents in these last couple of years of being here have been really powerful, simply kind of unanimous across the board. They've been able to save in their upfront costs by over 50% and have the same, if not far greater, comparable service um, on the other side. Um, I've got really, really cool testimonials that I can share. Um, so if you have questions on this side, please, please, please reach out and also go check out the link below. Um, all right, so let's talk about, just checking my time here, let's talk about the equity opportunities of what it looks like as you become a partner 
within eXp Realty. Now, here's the stuff I didn't talk about at the very, very beginning that I want to lay out right now for everybody. You, eXp Realty is a publicly traded company, right? Everything's out there. They're a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ. You can go see everything. All of their financials come out every uh, quarter. Um, it's pretty incredible to see the strength of this company. Most people aren't paying attention to what goes on in their corporate franchise ownership world of whatever individual, local, or big franchise company you hang your license at. I look at this stuff. It is mind-blowing when you actually see who's growing, who's shrinking, what's happening, who's profitable. Um, it's an interesting world we live in, guys. Um, it's uh, But you want to know what the company that you work for is doing, and uh, especially when you own it. Okay. Most of us can sit here right now and you have to ask yourself the question, do you have ownership? Do you have these options? I already know the answer, right? Um, but so what this looks like before I walk you through these is why they're so important. You don't just own eXp Realty, who, as I've shared with you now, is five years in a row, the fastest growing brokerage on the planet. Okay. Fastest growing brokerage on the planet. Third largest in the world. They're about to be the largest brokerage and they've hardly scratched the surface of what's to come. Okay. And so they're still at infancy, which makes this really, really, really exciting. Hence the Amazon of real estate. Okay. And you don't just own eXp Realty. You own eXp Realty, eXp Commercial. They're a mortgage company, title and escrow company, home warranty company. They bought out Success Magazine. I don't know, really bad at timelines, probably around a year or so ago, which is now Success Coaching. And they also own Verbellum, which is their, their technology, their metaverse, which is licensed by other industries all over the globe. Okay. The reason this is important, guys, is regardless if you ever use those ancillary services, this is how wealth is built. Now imagine that you get a part of that upside. And these are all new companies, guys, that are at brand new infancy. And this is one of the things I'm most passionate about is the whole mission, the core mission that Glenn Sanford shared with me behind the concept and the model of this one agent owned brokerage is that look at how fast they're growing. Look at how fast they swallowed our industry overnight and think of all of the ancillary services that are going to continue to be added on, bolted on, that they're going to buy, that they're going to build globally as we expand. All of it is owned by the people. It's not owned by the people on top. It's owned by you, the people. Now imagine owning a piece of that pie. So this is broken down specifically the different ways you are gifted, you are awarded shares and becoming a partner in the company just for doing what you're doing anyways, right? So every year when you close your first transaction, that's the first time you're awarded your ownership shares, right? Every year when you hit your cap, you're awarded additional shares of ownership. Every year when you introduce an agent into the company, which is how agents get to our companies, okay? And they close their first deal, you're awarded shares of ownership. And then there's the big one that's called Icon Agent, if anyone's heard of that out there, okay? But this is where, uh, if, if those of you guys know as a standard agent, uh, a standalone agent, the cap is $16,000. It's for everybody, right? It's $16,000 cap. You pay it in your split, you get $16,000, then you go to 100%, no franchise fees, right? When you hit Icon, which is a capping agent plus 20 units. So in most markets, on average, it's about 25 to 28 deals a year or more. Right, so you're 25 to 30 deal a year agent in your marketplace today. You are already an icon agent, or maybe you're striving for that production, okay, or anything above, okay, but you're walking in as an icon agent. What that means for you, and this is massively changing the game, okay, is every year when you hit that, I have big producers that hit that in a month, right? They're one month in, they're icon, they're 90 days in, they're icon, right? They're awarded their $16,000 cap they paid in, in dollar amount, $16,000 worth of shares, okay? Now, what does this really do to the financial play of our business? So here's what's cool is we like acknowledgement, right? You're the rookie of the year, the top producer in your office. You hit Emerald or Diamond or Ruby or Centurion or whatever all these great production thresholds are and we get our big trophies, okay? You get that too, okay? Here's the difference. You get your entire cap back in ownership and not just in ownership, in a rocket ship that is changing an industry in front of all of us as we speak. Think about what that might mean for you financially. The company says, I want to award you and thank you for being the top producer in our organization. We want to make you an even bigger partner with us, okay? And just to give you guys some math, I like to use exacts here. So I have a good friend in the local market. 
Uh, he's been at eXp for exactly four years now. He's an icon agent. He sells 35, 40 homes a year, total lone wolf, right? He doesn't need lead generation. He doesn't care about all the community. He doesn't even care about the resources and systems. He's all sphere based. He just does his thing. He's been th selling 30 to 40 homes a year for probably 15 years straight now at all the companies he's been with. Okay. He came here for the stocks. Okay. He's been here for four years now. We did the math just taking the 16,000, not even the other smaller shares. Just the 16000 that's been awarded it for four years, today it's worth over $500,000, okay? I meet people, I'm going through this slower and in depth for this presentation purposes because I meet people all the time that the financial business model of eXp, a lot of real estate agents can't grasp, right? Because we're just focused on how do we get to two deals a month, right? How do I get my next paycheck? Um, how do I increase my sales? How do I increase my marketing, right? We're not thinking about oh, there's something completely different here, right? That's going to keep fueling me and my family because this is how you create wealth, okay? This is what's still coming to you three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, eventually on top of just selling and being as good as your next sale, right? It's owning equity is what I always say. It's the difference of paying rent because you're going to pay rent somewhere or having equity and you're building the equity. We all know what that means financially with money. Where do we put our money? Where is it going to make us money? One of the biggest pillars of building wealth is owning equity in a growing company. You get that by default just by selling the homes you do here anyways. It's all built in. Um, they also have an agent equity program. This is optional. I look at this as paying into a 401k. Uh, it's available to you instantaneously to be able to sell, uh, but you're actually just automatically buying the stock off your commissions at a 10% discount. You're automatically making a 10% gain. You have access to it immediately. This has been a game changer with so many agents I've met with that are pulling onto their stock, right? Because they know where the company is at. Um, I've watched people buy investment properties, vehicles for their families, homes for their families, uh, pay off all of their debt, right? Um, buy boats, yachts, all sorts of stuff just from the stocks that were all upside that were gifted to them for doing the production they're doing anyways. That's when it becomes really real, right? At that financial play. So um, I've got lots of details here. We're not going to stop on this, but this actually gives you a full financial breakdown on the analysis that I did recently uh, with one of our agents. Um, so we've got lots of information we can share on that um, if you have questions. Okay. Some people don't like to talk about this side. So in some, when I meet with people one-on-one, -on -one, in some cases, we never speak about revenue share actually means and how it works because they're not interested in it. Okay. But here's reality. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. If you don't care about passive income at some point you're going to, and you need to know your vehicles, your options, and the best ways to get there and just different resources and options you have. Okay. So that's why I love this webinar because I just have you guys here as an audience. And I really want to hit this home with everybody on what's available to you that we never before had available to us before in this industry. Okay. So EXP pays out 50% of the gross company dollar off the top. Okay, so if it's a $20,000 commission, if it's a $10,000 commission, it's a set percentage that comes off the top and it's deposited into your bank account as a referral fee because you introduced us to Sally. Okay, now my mind works a little differently. I have a biased mindset because I'm a broker owner. Okay, I build real estate companies, I pour into agents, I provide a lot of resources. Our agents like working for us, right? And guess what? Guess who builds our company? Those agents introduce us to more agents, okay? And those agents are like, thank you. We love our community. You help us sell a lot of homes. You taught us the skill set to run a business. I'm introducing you to more agents. And then those agents introduce us to more agents. Thus, this is how real estate works, okay? Here's the difference. It's building my asset only, okay? And then when I own my franchise, right, the, the franchise um, asset, my agents are just getting a thank you, right? A thank you and a hug. And they're excited to refer agents in because they're going to get the help, okay? The difference here with what eXp created is they created compensation for contribution, right? We don't have a company without agents. The agents are the ones that refer the agents anyways. Even with our full-time recruiters, the majority of our agents at our companies will come from our agents. We're in a relationship business and a word of mouth business. We provide valuable service. Our agents are pouring people into us. This will never change, okay? The difference at this vehicle is you are made a partner. You are compensated for contribution. You are made a partner for bringing people here and bigger and bigger partner, right? Ownership shares. 
and you're awarded back a referral fee off the top of every deal that they do for life. Oh, and by the way, the ownership shares and the revenue share, it's a willable asset to your children and your grandchildren, okay? This chart, don't let it confuse you because this is stuff that's kind of just over everybody's head. But just to give you some perspective, you are earning a set percentage off the top again of that gross commission. Every time that agent does a deal, you get a set percentage off the top out of EXP's pocket. It gets deposited into your bank account up until they cap, you know, when they're no longer paying in. Resets every year. This goes on forever, okay? Residual passive income for bringing agents to a platform that will benefit them more, right? Because that's what we focus on. How can we benefit them with what they're trying to do and what they need? It's a financial business model, guys. The difference of all I want you to care about with this chart is it goes down seven layers because that's how this works. This is how you create the teamwork. This is the glue. There are no recruiters here. There are no franchise owners here. The whole company is owned and built by the people. You get the benefit for doing what you're going to do anyways, on accident or on purpose. Everyone is going to have a friend that says, hey, where are you at? Do you like it there? And those people are going to say, I'm going to build this on purpose for my family. It's there. It's only an upside. There's no minimums. There's no requirements. But you need to know this is here and you need to know how it works, which is what I'm going to break down next. So what do these numbers mean across the top here, right? Well, this is what it looks like to be able to create some buffers in our lives as independent contractors and real estate agents, okay? I would have to say, I would have to make and then save after taxes, okay? And put away into a savings account or into investments, okay? To be able to pull from that 4% of years, how it would work, to be able to create $36,000 a year in income and or $3,000 a month. This is how it works in the real world, guys, right? We all know what it would cost us right now to go make the income through selling homes, which is what most of us are trying to do, buy the next rental property, pay it off to create that same $3,000 a month in passive income. We all know what that looks like, right? And hopefully we're doing that. Very few get there. So this is what that world looks like, okay? Now, residual income. I believe you can't afford not to have it, right? Because otherwise we're tied to reliant on our next deal for us for our lives. We're on that treadmill forever. There's no relief, okay? So what I want you guys to look at here is what's the monthly passive income stream I would need to live my life, right? On my terms, I get to work with my clients and build my business the way I want to. I get to do what I want, how I want with my family, with the people I care about. If you don't care about passive income yet, you're going to. It doesn't have anything to do with retirement. It's how do I do what I want one day and not be reliant on the treadmill of having to just recreate it from scratch again every day. What are my options? Okay. Well, just if you look at this chart here, here's how much you make would make monthly. And on the right, it's how much you would have to earn and save. Okay. And again, I always reference, or if you're putting into other investments, you're buying that next, you know, investment property. What is it? Right. So whatever that number is for you, $10,000, $20,000. $30,000, what allows you to get off that treadmill of life? And not because you're going to get off it, but it gives you the option. And what's the amount of money you have to make? This is where EXP's business model is genius because they took the old model of the real estate brokerages where we're all going to hang our licenses anyways, and they created a new model, right? And they said, what if we just support the agents, make the agents the owners, and we give them all of the upside? What would that do, right? Mm -hmm. Well, here's what it looks like mathematically, okay? I like to do things very watered down. I am never the big rah-rah person that's gonna talk to you about how we're gonna make millions and all this cool stuff. If you are that big player, talk to me separately. We'll talk about those numbers, okay? We'll talk about my numbers. I like to water this down for anybody. Anybody can do this, okay? If you're brand new to the business, you've been selling three homes a year for the past five years, everybody can do this. So if I'm going to take, I call this the uh, six capping agents, okay? So here's you, and you go and attract over the next one to two years, okay? And when I say attract, because there's a better financial model, guys, that exists in our industry now. There's more coaching, resources, support, systems that exist that have ever existed before in real estate because they can't give that to you for free. In a model like this, we're all financially aligned. You just get to bolt that on, Okay. So if you, over the next couple of years, six agents followed you over, right? Because a couple of your friends, someone that followed you from other office, someone reached out to you on the other side of a deal, your cousin gets licenses. Hey, where should I hang my license? Where would these people come from? Okay. 
All of the above happens all day long. This is the organic nature of the business. Well, you get paid $2,800 a year on each of those agents by eXp, just saying thank you because you get a set percentage off the top until they cap, okay? Average capping agent typically across the nation is six transactions. Some markets, it's less than four. Some markets at eight. On average, it's six nationwide, okay? Agents selling six homes a year, okay? eXp is going to pay you $2,800 a month, which is $16,800. The reason I use six Okay. For some of you might be like, well, $16,000 isn't that much. Well, here's why I use six. It completely pays your cap. You are now working at your company for purely a hundred percent because that 16,800 is coming back to you in cash value referral fee as they're closing their deals deposited off the top in your bank account as a referral fee saying, thank you. This is how you replace your cap. Any, you guys have heard people say that there's multiple ways to make EXP hundred percent model free. So I don't know care what company you're coming from. You make it back exponentially in your ownership shares and in the revenue shares just by the organic nature of our industry. I know this because my agents in their sleep send me agents in droves at my old company model, right? Before I ever came over to eXp. Now imagine here, this just happens organically. Now imagine here where they actually get to create something for their children and their families and their grandchildren. Um, do you think that might amplify that a little more? And they're already doing this organically, okay? Couple of years, nothing crazy. You could do that in one month if you want to. You do it in a week. Couple of years. Could you bring over three agents a year that are now covering your cap? Okay. And you work for free and you know how ongoing cash flow coming to you. Well, here's what it looks like in another layer. Okay. I call this the six by one plan. So now here's you. You bring over those six agents. Now there's a second tier to this because here's reality everyone brings their friend. Okay. Whether they want to or not. This is just how the real estate business works. Those six that you brought over, over a couple of your period, bring over their one friend. They're all going to, okay? Here's the difference with eXp. And this is very, very smart. Agents always go, well, what, why, is it, why is it more? This is where teamwork come in. This is where community comes in because you actually get paid more on the second tier, okay? eXp is gonna pay you $3,200 a year off the top of every deal those additional six agents do. As they close deals, you're just getting a referral fee off the top deposit in your bank account. Thank you, because you brought us Sally. We would not be here today if you didn't bring us Sally. There's no recruiters here, guys. It's just the opportunity for you to provide more to agents and give back and contribute because you're helping to build the company. You're getting the compensation. And it's, again, it's a willable asset to your children and your grandchildren. You guys can already see the math on here, okay? I love this example so much because this is my agents for 14 years at my previous company. For years, automatically, organically, this is how agents are creating $3,000 a month in passive income, okay? And I already talked with you. This is the math on what it takes. Again, we all know what it would take to make that income right now, selling houses, to pay and buy down our next investment property or put that into other investments to create that same $3,000 a month. Or we just spread the word. That's 12 agents, of which six you influenced and they influenced someone else. That's the compounding power. And you guys notice I'm using very small numbers. I've been here for just over two years, guys, personally, after researching it for a year. I have agents across the board, okay? I don't talk about the big people. I don't talk about myself. I talk about new licensees, people that have been out there selling just a few homes, right? That are making $500 a month, 1,000, 3,000, 5,000, 8,000, $12,000 a month, passively outside of their real estate sales, outside of their ownership shares in just a year from being here because this financial model exists. And quite honestly, many of them are going to do it anyways. It's the organic nature of our business, or you can also do it on purpose. Okay. And it gives you options. Now I want to take this one step further. So you guys think on a bigger scale, let's think about this on like a five-year scale. Okay. I call this the 10 by 10 plan. Some people do this in six months. Some people do this in a year. I like to call this the five-year plan. Okay. How do 10 agents get to 100. Well, here's what it actually looks like, okay? You introduce 10 agents over the next two years, okay? Of those 10 agents, three of them are gonna say, mm, Michelle, I've been selling 45 homes. These are conversations I have every day. I've been selling 45 homes a year for the past 20 years. I don't wanna sell 80 homes. I want an exit strategy. I want an end game. Teach me how to create revenue share. And they go out and they bring 50 people, okay? The second person, Happens to be, I have lots of these, right? Your socialite in networks and groups, they're the social agent, right? Is what I call them, the social butterfly. 
they're so excited to be here. They're so excited by all the resources and we've helped them quadruple their income, okay? They're talking away to everybody. That agent is gonna go bring 30 agents with them just because they're excited and they're social, okay? The third agent is gonna be a brand new licensee that says, you know what, help me sell homes, uh, but that's a no brainer. Teach me how to go build this and they're gonna go bring 20 agents over, okay? The other seven, just bring their one friend. That is how 100, reali sorry, 10 realistically becomes 100, okay? That's what that looks like. And then start, so the kicker to this, okay, is there's a third level, fourth level, a fifth level, a sixth level, and a seventh level. What do you think happens now with all of those 100 people? Some are gonna go, teach me how to build an exit strategy while I'm selling homes, okay? And some are just gonna be so excited just to have a better platform and people to pour into them and resources and system and earn ownership and be a partner on where they are just to sell homes. They're ecstatic. But those other three out of 10 are gonna say, Michelle, teach me how to do this. And that's what we do for you, for your agents that you know, is we teach them exactly how to duplicate and leverage all of us to help agents build more production, more income, and a business for themselves. Now, this number below, okay, some of you guys are probably looking at this going, mm, well, Michelle, that sounds too good to be true. That sounds crazy. Not everybody's going to cap, okay? Totally understand. This is actually your best case scenario. This would be if all 100 agents were capping agents, were selling six homes. As you guys know, that becomes a little unrealistic the bigger you go. You're going to have all of the above, okay? So I love to do this example. Um, oh, by the way, to create that, we would have to make and save $8.7 million, okay? To create that type of passive income. Um, but this is what I always do. I think that's, I like things conservative, watered down, not what's the maximum I could make. What does it really look like? The easiest way to do it is slice it in half, right? We look at if every agent we brought on only sold on average three homes a year. This is the way you want to look at it. You're going to have a hundred, you know, I just brought on three agents in the last couple of months that all sell over a hundred homes. And then you've got new licensees, you've got all of the above, okay? You're only getting paid up until they cap, okay? From EXP is that as that bonus referral fee. So let's just pretend they all don't cap. And on average, they're all half cappers. This is a more realistic way to look at this. this is something you can count on. This is what I help people build their business models around, okay? But this is very real. I showed you, you bring on 10. This is how 10 becomes 100. This is now what you're doing. Think about if you didn't have to, and again, this doesn't cost you a dollar, okay? You're not making a dollar. You're not investing a dollar. You're all, this is people building with you and for you. They're doing the coaching, the training, the resources, the structure, the infrastructure. They're helping those people build, okay? What does that do when you now add that into your business after being in real estate just over the next couple of years? I'm not talking about people who do this overnight. Let's just talk about over the next couple of years or so, right? Actually, I think I was saying this was the five-year plan, okay? Five-year plan. Let's call it that. How would this change your life if you're going to sell homes anyways? You're going to be in real estate anyways. So you got to think about, do I have these options now? Do I have ownership of my company where I'm at now? And does that even mean anything? Okay, I had the 30th, 34th largest Century 21 out of 8,000 offices globally. I had a big company. wasn't that big. I was to slice that up and give ownership to all of my agents. We still all don't own anything. Would have been nice though, right? I'm sure they would have felt appreciated and loved to be a partner in the company. They don't own anything. None of us own anything. Owning a piece of this rocket ship, this changes the lives and the financial future outcome for us as real estate agents. So uh, this just gives us some math. I like to associate these things because I know what I have to go do and make and put in to create the same type of income, okay? Same type of income. Myself and many other people, I had no idea that within 12 months we'd be making over $20,000 passively. Okay. For some people, that's like, oh, that's nothing. For some people, that changes their life for the rest of their life. Okay. I love that fact that we can just help someone make $1,000 a month with a few people. Changes someone's life, their mortgage payments, their, their child care, it ch their medical, it changes everything. Okay. A couple of things I'm going to end with. Sorry, I'm watching the time here. But give a man a fish, feed him for a day. We've all heard this. Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. This has always been my philosophy on how we teach agents to build a sustainable business for themselves. They're not reliant on what the market does. They're not reliant on the company they work for. They're not reliant on the marketing companies. They can actually feed and hunt and fish and take care of themselves, okay? Then you can teach a man to teach 
a man to fish. You can feed generations. I get shivers. I'm a super nerd guy. Sorry, this is the the this is the passion and emotional side for me is in this kind of stuff. And this business model, I've never seen anything like it that gives us a way to help people build something much bigger than them. Okay. So little two minute exercise here, then we're going to be done. Okay. Again, I talk about whether you like this stuff or not, you need to know how it works. Okay. So quick exercise to write down. What's your I'm done number. Okay. How much do you need passively residually every month to live your life that you want? Okay. I never knew what freedom was. We all have this idea of financial freedom. What does that really mean? I didn't understand time freedom, location freedom, and financial freedom until I was here, until I was about one year in. I blew, I did not actually understand what that meant. I knew I wanted it, didn't know what it was. Okay. What is that number for you? What's that starting number for you? Okay. And then you need to even take a snapshot of this, right? You need to know what that number is on the other side, because otherwise you're going to be stuck in this wheel and we're going to have this conversation five years from now, 10 years from now. Okay. This is to me, something we need to be talking with every single person in our industry with from day one, right? Starting today as day one, we're going to help you sell lots of houses. And that's going to be the big part of the plan. We need to also talk about your future plan in the next five years. Okay. Let, we need to be talking about this conversation. It cannot just be set aside because that's the trouble our industry is in. Okay. So what are these numbers? And now you're going to write down what's my I'm done number. How much have I saved so far? How much are you able to save per year? Some of us, I know it's zero. Is it 25,000 a year? Is it 50,000 a year? How much am I able to save per year and put away, right? Or put into something. And then you just do the simple math. How many years will it take to create that difference, right? Of the number that you want to create. All EXP did and what Glenn Sanford created for us in, cha in changing the dynamics of our industry in this new model, right, is he gave us choices and he gave us options, okay? Because that exercise I just walked you through, we can do that, okay? Or you can work with us in our systems and we'll show you exactly how to bring over 20 to 30 agents yourself over the next two to five years, which is going to create the return that we just showed you, okay? you now have options because our industry has failed to create a path for financial freedom. Real estate builds wealth, okay? So few ever get to that point. They're not in a point where they can thrive enough with the income they're making to then have the education and the mentors to teach them what they should do with their money. Our industry has failed to create that path of financial freedom for our agents, right? To create wealth, we need multiple income streams. We need passive income. We need ownership, right? We need equity. Do you have that where you're at now? You have to ask ourselves these questions. And again, three years ago, I did not know this existed. Most of the industry still does not know that this existed. We didn't even have these options, okay? That is the reality we are in. So all this is, and I hope this was helpful in the way I've articulated this, it gave us options for ourselves, for our families as real estate agents. I believe this is the best industry on the planet. I love our industry and what we can do with it. I also am in the world of I lead real estate agents. I build with agents. I coach with real estate agents. This is one of the biggest sticking points. So what are we going to do about it? Uh, one of my favorite, favorite quotes, this is actually on my, uh, my Facebook group, but decide to break the patterns in your life that are no longer serving you. Okay. And I say this in an empowering way because now you can build something for you and we get to all do it together. This is the really sappy side of me. I like cry when I talk about this stuff because I get to build with my people now, right? Not pour into them, help them build their sales business, but they're building a, a business for me, right? We get to actually build something now together, but for them and for you individually. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, can't believe my alarm went off that I said at the right time in the dot. I want to give us a couple of questions. Um, any, just to give you guys as a resource, uh, cofoundersgroup.com. It's, it's just an open network of resources that I created. And uh, there's tons of great information there, videos, screenshots, what we do, the EXP model, the financials, all the information you could ever want on anything, um, how to contact us. Um, I'm kind of your really easy kind of a generic source to anything that you can ask questions to, get connected to the right people. Um, let me know who introduced you. So feel free to go there to get any information. I'll end with that. Um, does anyone have any questions? Um, and this is where you guys can't just talk. You have to raise your hand and then I can unmute you. But for the group I have on here, does anyone have any questions for me? 
Anybody, anybody? I know one of you, you'll be meeting with me right after this, so we'll talk then. But um, if there's no questions, guys, I'll wrap with that. Again, I hope this was helpful. Uh, please reach out. I'd love the opportunity to meet with you individually and find out kind of just what's going on in your business, what you need help with, where you're looking to go. Um, and that's what we aim to do, right, is align with you personally and help you create a plan or at least know options and specific resources that are available that you can plug into what you're doing. So with that said, thank you for attending, guys, and uh, hopefully I'll get to talk to you soon.